Timing chain guides are often the best indicators of the health of the timing chain, sprockets, and the entire engine. A timing chain guide is designed to keep the chain in tension so it will not flutter like a serpentine belt when the engine speed changes. Abnormal wear patterns indicate a chain system problem like end play in the crankshaft and camshaft or other sprockets. Wear patterns can also indicate if the tensioners and oil pressure are operating properly. Timing chain guides are designed to wear, but the guides are designed to last the engine's life. If the guides wear prematurely, it's a sign that the path of the chain, lubricants, or tensioner are not performing as they should. To call some timing chain guides plastic is not accurate. The materials used by manufacturers are highly engineered resins and structural fibers. These materials are designed to withstand high temperatures and forces inside the engine. They're also engineered to withstand engine oil and harmful vapors created by blow-by inside the combustion chamber. The engineered materials are also designed to endure thousands of heat cycles. Other mechanical items can hasten a timing chain failure, like multiple overheating incidents or blocked oil passages in the top end of the engine. So why aren't all timing chain guides made of metal? The simple answer is noise. If a guide was made of a stamped or cast metal, there's a possibility that it would cause sound to be transmitted from the engine to the vehicle. Even if you have a cast metal guide, chances are it will have plastic inserts that contact the chain. The other reason is that plastic is softer than the chain material. If a customer is replacing a timing chain, they need to replace the guides. If a customer is attempting to return and file a labor claim for a timing chain kit, finding the new guides in the box may indicate they didn't do the complete job. Thanks for watching.